What's going on everyone? It's Angelica here. Today I'm going to be talking about emotional healing. Emotional healing was a massive part of my healing journey. You know, sometimes I wish it was all about just exercise and green juices, but it wasn't. Uh, emotional healing was probably the majority of my healing, you know, where I put the most amount of work in. And I think that's really important to talk about because I, f I felt that I was going through life thinking that um, I didn't need to stop and think about my emotions, right? And it turns out that once I start um, digging deep and, and doing my own research and reading about it and understanding more about it, you know, our emotions that are a massive part of our day to day and how, how we feel and how our health is, right? So... Why I started down this journey was that I was extremely stressed, stressed out. Um, and I can say that I was just a, a stressed out person, you know, before cancer. And, you know, once I start reading about stress and cancer and, the, you know, the, the um, you know, lots and lots of research showing the, the influence on stress in our health, I needed to understand a little bit more what's, what was going on inside me, you know, why, why, why I was so stressed out. So I started really, um, you know, thinking with myself, you know, like really going inwards to see, you know, what, kind, what, what makes me stressed out, right? And I think that, you know, uh, we live in a very, very busy life and we don't, we don't stop because we haven't got time to really go in inwards and think about, you know, what have I done today? How did I feel? You know, like checking in with yourself, right? We check in with our, you know, maybe husband, you know, kids or friends or parents or family, but we never take the time to check in with ourselves. And for me, it wasn't until I started checking in with myself that I couldn't understand um, what was going on inside, you know, how I was feeling, my emotions, right? And it turns out that, you know, in all my research, you know, like we spend 98% on this automatic pilot, right? Just doing things over and over again, not only physically, but mentally as well, right? Just think about like when you wake up, you know, you're already, you know, wake up with this thinking like, you know, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, I've got to go to work, I've got to organize the kids, I've got to walk the dog, you know, whatever you need to do, you know, and that emotion is already created inside you, right? Like you're already like on that, you know, that feeling of maybe worried, maybe anxious, maybe stressed, maybe upset, maybe frustrated, maybe happy, excited, you know, it's already, you know, as soon as you wake up, as soon as you open your eyes, it's like, you know, you are all, you know, in, you know, like already, you know, the whole emotion is on gear. And, and I think that, you know, what also, you know, when we go back to understanding that 90%, 98% is on automatic pilot, you know, I needed to understand what was that 98%, you know, like what, what did that consist of? You know, what kind of emotion what was I feeling most of my time? And the truth is, guys, we all have a default emotion, right? We all have it, you know, we something that we go to as something that we feel comfortable with right so so first thing to make it you know like very clear you know if you are in this journey of trying to uh, heal yourself you know emotions your inner self sit with yourself sit with yourself and start observing where is you spending this 98 percent of your time this automatic pilot you know where are you happy are you sad are you frustrated are you angry are you feeling guilty are you depressed are you anxious you know like just really you know, it's not until you sit with yourself that you can't really understand what's going on, right? It's like trying to understand what's happening happening with your kid. If you don't ask your kid what's going on, you know, you need to take the time and go, okay, what's going on? How are you feeling? And are you happy? You said, you know, you just need to have some time to do that. You know, all the time that you were busy and running away from yourself and just, you know, not spending any time with yourself, guess what? You're just going to go back into being you know, on this automatic pilot and nothing is going to change. So sitting with yourself is number one, you know, and then once you start, you know, sitting with yourself and understanding, you know, how you feel, you start pinpointing that emotion, that's your default emotion. 
you know, let's, um, you know, take the example of when you get up, you know, like you, you, you organize yourself to get to work, you know, maybe sometimes now these days you don't have to go to work, but you know, when, if you do have to go to work, you know, do you get frustrated or pissed off with the traffic, with the bus getting late or, uh, or something that happened on the way and then you get to work, you know, you see somebody who you already have a relationship that it's not that great and it makes you feel in the same way. So does that make you feel you know, angry, sad, frustrated. So just, you know, really when you look at all the interactions and everything that happens with you during the day, what is the emotion that you go back to? You know, that you always kind of go down this path and this road that it's the same road. You know, are you, are you always getting sad about everything? You know, you watch and then you, you know, you, um, you go out to get some lunch and then you see somebody that is, you know, I don't know, banging on the street. That makes you, what, angry? Does it make you sad? Does it make you frustrated? You know, we all going to be triggered by different things, but we mostly are going to go back to this default emotion. And uh, once you pinpoint what this emotional is, you are you know, no longer in hiding. You know, you know exactly what is your emotional home? You know what's going on. You know, for me, it was very much everything that triggered me and my interactions during the day just made me angry. That was my default emotion. You know, like everything, you know, if I was late to work, if the kids did something in the morning, if my husband said something that I didn't like, you know, if I got to work and something went wrong at work, and if my meeting was canceled, if my deal didn't go like I thought it would, if... Um, you know, on the way back home, I was late as well, or, you know, like everything, I went back to just being angry. And that was really important for me to understand that, because once I start understanding that, I started linking, you know, the problem with like how I was so stressed out. Because if you're spending 90%, 98% of your time angry, you know, that's not rock science to know that that's not good news, Right. So, you know, and I'm just trying to encourage you to really sit with this because this is incredibly important so you can understand where you're spending most of your time, like, feeling-wise. You know, because I, I would say that, you know, from the outside, I was always smiling and, you know, and, and, and holding on to this facade that I, you know, I had everything under control and holding everything together. But the inside, it was always going back to this default anger and anger and anger and anger and anger, like just draining my energy away. So I think, you know, if you are in this journey of trying to heal your, uh, you know, your inner self, your, your um, emotions and your, and how you feel inside, you know, definitely, you know, you need to sit with yourself so you understand what's going on inside. And two, once you understand going, what's going on inside, you start pinpointing exactly where you spend most of your time. And the three, then once you do that, you start observing, almost like if you were like outside of you, you know, once you know that, you know, your default emotion is the anger, you know, you're waiting for the bus and the bus doesn't come on time, you're late for work and you are looking and you're thinking and you're feeling the anger getting in and you're, you're observing you think wow this is really interesting why do i why am i getting angry yes i'm late for work uh but there isn't much i can do in the situation because i can't control the bus i can't control what's happening right now and i don't think anybody's gonna die if i get to work five or ten minutes late i can maybe you know take somebody and say i'm gonna be late you know you just kind of start getting yourself out of that feeling and being able to observe from a different perspective. And I felt that it was really helpful to heal myself and start healing uh, how I felt most of the time. So guys, I hope this is helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching, Debbie. I see you tagged somebody. I, I love that. Thank you so much for that. Um, you know, so very important, guys, sit with yourself, pinpoint your emotional home and start observing your emotions, you know, from an outsider, from, you know, because when you start really observing from an outsider, you can detach yourself from it and start seeing things from a different perspective. 
I hope this is helpful to you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you the next one. Take care.